Alright, what's up guys? We've got the second episode on Itsuka Tenma. Now, right off the bat in this episode, you were able to see Taito and Himiya when they first met as little kids, I guess, 10 years old or something. And that entire scene that took about the first five minutes of the episode, I'd say, felt really melodramatic. It felt like they were trying to dramatize it when they were just 10 years old, saying, you know, I'll never forget you, I'll miss you, everything like that. It didn't blend in right. It didn't look right at all. In my opinion, uh, maybe it, it feels like that kind of talk is supposed to be for maybe the people in high school and stuff, not some 10 year old saying, you know, I'll never forget you, I'll protect you. So it doesn't necessarily blend in right to me, at least. It doesn't work, doesn't look right to me. And then you're able to see Gecko and, you know, the guy gave him a nickname, the lizard from the Geico company, you know, Gecko. Uh, he just reminds me of the Geico guy, the Geico lizard. But, anyways. <laughs> Uh, and you just see he's, you're, he's basically fighting him, Taito, and Kimeya comes in, and, and then some dude on a gigantic spider comes flying down, and it makes like a web over all of them, and says, you know, give me the, uh, the princess, or Kimeya, and all of you might, you know, I'll spare your lives, and blah, 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 everything else, that we've all been used to with the evil villains. And it turns out that the guy on spider, is his name is Hinata, and basically he is Gecko's brother, twin brother, and Gecko basically says, you know, he's his failure of a brother because, I guess, uh, failure of a human brother, I don't necessarily know, all I know is they're twin brothers, and Gecko thinks that the other guy's a failure, I guess, because he went the evil way or the wrong way or he's doing bad things, so I guess now he's fighting Kaito to basically take the princess back, or Himeya back, and now Kaito basically and then, well, at first I want to talk about the, the curse that uh, the girl, Himeya, the princess, placed on Taito. Basically, he is able to die six times in a time frame of 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, or before 15 minutes, if he dies more than six times, let's say he dies seven times, right? He kills him six times and then kills him one more time, he's dead and can't come back to life. Uh, but the, what basically the spell is, is every 15 minutes, the... Uh, the spell resets. So let's say he dies six times, and it's like 14 minutes, right? And I guess a minute later, it's 15 minutes, right? Uh, the spell resets, and if and basically he's back to one death, I guess. I guess basically he can die six more times before he really dies. So the spell resets every 15 minutes. He has a max of six times he can die. If he dies seven times, he's gone, poof, done, up to heaven, dead. You know, it's really how it is. So. I guess it's pretty cool that they, they put that little, uh, in, uh, they implemented that with the, uh, 15 minutes, the spell resets, because it'd be just boring, you know, he can't die, and, you know, let's say he just can't die. So I like that, uh, I think they're gonna use it a little better in the next fights, uh, they should implement it more, they should really base the fights around his deaths, maybe he should use some deaths to save his friends' lives, save another person, and stuff like that. Uh, I think they're gonna pretty much use that in a really effective way, as what I'm hoping is they're going to use it in an effective way. And basically, Taito gets this blue power on his right arm. I, I don't necessarily know what it is. It looks like a Dragon Ball Z Kamehameha from Goku. Really, he just he just punched the guy and it envelops him in this blue energy. I don't necessarily know what it means and how he gets it. And after that, the episode ends and I guess Himeya transfers over to his school. And it felt like, uh, it felt like maybe it was a dream and he forgot what happened because at the end of the battle, he basically had his whole body cut in half. Like, basically, all you saw was his chest and up. And he was just standing there with no hands, no legs, no nothing. And then all of a sudden, he closes his eyes and he wakes up at, uh, at class. So I don't necessarily know how that works out. Um, I was a little confused, maybe he passed out and the princess fixed him, he may have fixed him or something, I don't know. Uh, but, she transfers in and this cool president council dude, Gecko, the lizard guy, you know, that's what I nicknamed him, uh, basically tells him you are now working under the student council and it looks like they have a Vegeta-Goku relationship where Taito is going to be stronger than Gecko, but then Gecko isn't going to, uh, acknowledge that, so it looks like it's going to be Vegeta and Goku is really what it looks like. Uh, so that's really it for the second episode. Uh, I had my doubts on the first episode, it looked pretty bad, but after this one it actually looks okay. You know, nothing special, but it'll be, it'll be something I'll watch. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys later.